Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here, bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing SH Monster Arts Godzilla Orai Noriyoshi poster version. This version of Godzilla is inspired by the poster concept created by the legendary illustrator Orai Noriyoshi for the 1993 film Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla 2. Noriyoshi's stylized take on Godzilla gave the big G, bright glowing blue dorsal fins, and a weathered green paint app. Noriyoshi's art style is truly unique and absolutely fantastic. Noriyoshi has created several more stunning posters for other Godzilla films. Noriyoshi also created stunning posters for non-tokusatsu films such as The Goonies, Mad Max, and even Star Wars. Unfortunately, Noriyoshi passed away in 2015, leaving behind a one-of-a-kind stunning art legacy. This Godzilla figure is another piece honoring Noriyoshi's legacy. SH Monster Art's Godzilla Orai Noriyoshi poster version is another fantastic release in the SH Monster Art's line. Godzilla has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, nice accessories, and a great range of articulation. Let's jump right into it and take a look at Godzilla himself. Godzilla has a great range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right. The mouth can open up. The shoulders have a great range of rotation. They can rotate a full 360 degrees, but on my figure, I notice the shoulder joints are extremely tight. The arms can come out this much. We have a bicep swivel. We have a nice bend in the elbows. The claws are on ball joints, so we can tilt and spin these freely. In the upper torso, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side, and lean side to side. Now, when twisting the figure from side to side, be mindful of the dorsal fins on the back. You don't want them to bump up against each other and possibly damage the paint. The legs can kick forward this much, backward this much, and come out the sides this much. We have a nice bend in the knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. And then finally, we have Godzilla's super long articulated tail comprised of many ball joints, which is definitely very cool. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Godzilla is absolutely fantastic. Of course, he should be, since this is now the fifth time we've seen the Godzilla 1995 sculpt use in the SH Monster Arts line. Starting from the top, we have Godzilla's head. The first thing you'll notice about this figure is the brand new unique paint apps. Godzilla is sporting the color scheme from the Orai Noriyoshi poster. At the top of the head, we have Godzilla's nicely detailed scales with a new weathered greenish yellow paint app. These nicely detailed scales can be seen throughout the body. In some spots, the scales have bluish highlights. Godzilla's brow is nice and prominent, adding to his menacing look. The eyes have a new cool gradiated red to orange paint app with no pupils. I think Godzilla's eyes look awesome and they really add to his intense look. Moving down we have the mouth. The teeth have a nice sharp sculpt with a dirty bone paint app. The inner mouth has a very nicely detailed fleshy sculpt with a weathered flesh tone paint app. Moving down we have the chest with a nice scaly muscular sculpt and various creases and folds. Here in the chest, we can see the yellow from the scales intensifies around the neck, and we can also see some of the bluish highlights in the scales. The shoulders and arms have a great sculpt. The claws have a nice sharp sculpt with a weathered dirty bone paint app for the nails. The legs have a nice massive muscular sculpt with various scaly creases and folds. The feet have a large sculpt just like the legs. The toes have the same weathered dirty bone paint app as the claws. Spin around to the back, we have Godzilla's new dorsal fins. This time around, the dorsal fins are semi-translucent with a new vibrant glowing blue paint app. The dorsal fins have a fantastic detailed and textured sculpt with frosted tips that transition down to a vibrant blue paint app at the base. The outer rows of the dorsal fins have a frosted white paint app. As we go down the back, the dorsal fins become larger and then become smaller as we reach the tail. The tail has a nice, long, scaly, multi-segmented sculpt. The underside of the tail has a smoother sculpt with an asphalt black paint app. As we reach the end of the tail, the dorsal fins become smaller and taper off at the tail tip. For accessories, the first item we have is not actually an accessory. Godzilla comes with a nice little treat. We have a mini version of the Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 Orai Noriyoshi poster. 
This mini poster is printed on a nice solid cardstock paper, which is pretty cool. On the front, we have the poster in its full glory, which is very nice. On the back, we have the title of the figure and then our standard SH Monsters blurb, which is pretty cool. It's really nice that they included this mini poster. I definitely appreciate it, but now it makes me want to go ahead and run out and buy the full-size version of the Arai Noriyoshi poster. Now, for the one actual accessory that Godzilla comes with, Godzilla comes with a pair of open hands with a scaly sculpt and the new weathered greenish-yellow paint app from the body. The claws have a nice weathered dirty bone paint app. The open hands attach via ball joints. When attaching the hands, hold close to the wrist joint so the pressure is on the hand and not the wrist joint itself. Once you swap the hands, Godzilla can now strike more expressive poses. Now something that is definitely a bummer, it's very unfortunate that this figure did not come with a new atomic breath effect part to match the new dorsal fins. Luckily, you can fix that situation if you are an avid SH Monster Arts collector. The blue atomic breath effect part that came with the Godzilla 1994 release fits very well with this figure and it's definitely very cool. So now, even this Godzilla has an appropriate atomic breath effect part. Now, let's compare our poster version Godzilla with our original Godzilla 1995 Rebirth figure and then do some size comparisons. As a whole, I think Godzilla Orai Noriyoshi poster version turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is very well done, as it should be, the articulation is great, and the new paint apps are very cool. The only issue I have with this release, I really wish they would have included a new atomic breath effect part to match up with our new dorsal fins. In the end, I'm very happy to have this release and another piece to honor Orai Noriyoshi's work. Now, I know most collectors are tired of repaints, but this is a repaint that I think is definitely worth picking up. So now we have the big question. How much does Godzilla Orai Noriyoshi poster version cost? I imported my figure for $89. Now, something to note, as of right now on Amazon, the figure is up for pre-order for $79. That might be a slightly more digestible price for this figure if you're on the fence about picking it up. Be sure to take some time to check out Noriyoshi's awesome legacy of artwork. It is truly stunning. Also, be sure to check out the 1993 film Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. It's absolutely fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see more SH Monsters reviews or other absolutely fantastic reviews, click the links on screen right now. If you thoroughly enjoy my content, consider checking out my Patreon page, remember to follow me on social media, and most of all, always remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.